It's a crime that left Keith Anderson's finances and his car. He totaled the car. Both wrecked. A shredded tire, banged up fenders, and that's only part of the damage. Even more incredible is how it all happened. It was just a bad night, man. It was the night. Police say this van was outside of Lachey's and over the Rhine. It nearly hit the woman who was the bar manager, but it wasn't over yet. The van driver stopped. Uh, he was cussing her out, and he kept cussing her out. Somebody had beat her up, and then, pow, he just shot. Ellie Richardson was shot in the face. The driver took off. Keith, who also works at the bar with Ellie, ran to help. Police and EMS responded. As the investigation went into the early morning hours Thanksgiving Day, Keith kept his car running so witnesses could stay warm inside. But at some point, the car was empty, except for a thief. And once I get back to my car, I see my car reversing. And that's when I noticed, like, somebody's still in my car. The car was found in Hamilton, but missing were Keith's two laptops, all of the Christmas gifts he had bought for his four children, including toys and a gaming system, something he didn't know his wife had put in a trunk to hide the surprise from the kids. I mean, you're helping a person now in a tragic event, and then you steal a car. It's like, man, you, you hurting us too, man. What are you doing? Police are still searching for the thief who stole a car and a Christmas. Now, there was an arrest in the shooting, but police say that's not connected at all to this car theft. Meanwhile, friends have set up a You Caring page if you want to donate to help Keith and his family. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT. News 5. All right, Brian, let's hope that some people come through to help him out as well. And as for Ellie Richardson, there is another benefit tonight to help raise money for her medical expenses. It's a silent auction at the Woodward Theater. It starts at 7 o'clock tonight, so in two hours, and it goes until midnight. Tickets are $15 at the door. So far, her You Caring page has raised more than $80,000.